Blessings and much peace to everybody. My name is Reverend Joseph T. Robinson. I'm the founder and program designer for Pre for Evergreen. It's new entry at the care model that provides services to formerly incarcerated people and to individuals that's under parole, probation, supervision. What we've done, we've created a green skills curriculum. It's 160 hours of uh, OSHA standard training where individuals that successfully complete the model, they obtain forklift certification, squeeze lift certification, and baler operating certification. And so what we do is we provide services behind the prison walls and when a man or woman is discharged, uh, because we've developed that working relationship with them in six, eight months to a year, they're requesting to come into our aftercare model and so we have housing, education, spiritual, medical. We deal with the whole person versus a partial of the person and so uh, here at the site that I manage is the Green Skills New Entry Aftercare Model. Again, we teach them how to work with materials that are recyclable. We teach them the end markets of these recyclable materials. And at the same token, we provide them with the necessary credentials as forklift certification, squeezer uh, certification, baler operating certification. They can take that certification, go transition anywhere in the state because OSHA is a worldwide organization. That credential is on it wherever they go to gain employment. So that's the bulk of what we do uh, for working with formerly incarcerated people. We call them returning citizens uh, from the prison industrial complex back into society's family reunification. We deal also with anger management, behavior mods, um, you know, those type of things, financial management, financial literacy. Um, so those are the, the services that we provide from our ministry perspective, and this is an outreach ministry. Uh, we've had it developed as a L3C, which gives us the blessings to operate two vehicles. We have a for-profit vehicle and we have a non-profit vehicle, so we can pretty much do joint venture projects with government and non-government agencies. So that's the nut and bolts of what we do and why we created this model to empower returning citizens, particularly those that are formerly incarcerated and those under parole, probation, supervision. So we thank you for your prayers and we thank you for your support. Uh, we are in need of other funding sources, mentors and stuff of that nature. So welcome one, welcome all. Again, Reverend Joseph T. Robinson, Jr.